Across the United States, some 400 colleges and universities are competing at the NCAA Division III level. And for more than five decades, Buffalo State has been a proud member of that group. A nationally recognized leader in Division III, committed to the overall college experience of its student athletes. The NCAA is comprised of three divisions. Uh, division I and Division II are your scholarship uh, divisions. Division III is, is a non-scholarship division. It is where uh, the participation is of athletics is integrated into the academic life for the student athletes. Uh, student athletes choose their college, uh, Division III, because it's the right fit for them, uh, academically and athletically. And it's really, uh, an old cliche is that they, they come to play for the love of the game. Buffalo State is home to some 400 student athletes, representing themselves, one of our 18 intercollegiate athletic programs, the athletics department, and most importantly, their institution on playing fields, courts, and rinks all across the country. Unlike their counterparts at Division I and II, Buffalo State student athletes, as with all Division III student athletes, do not receive athletic scholarships. But like all student athletes, no matter the division, the Bengals are fully committed to the pursuit of excellence, committed to extensive training, long hours of practice, competing at the highest level, and of course, winning. They compete for the love of the game, love of the institution, and much more. Uh, the college experience is one of a learning and growth time. Um, and participation in athletics is where they learn, to me, valuable life lessons. It is where they learn what it takes to be successful. Um, the teamwork, the discipline, the perseverance, leadership, responsibility, hard work all of those aspects uh, that they will take with them and, and use beyond their time here uh, at Buffalo State College. I've been very lucky to be a student and an athlete. Um, you get to experience a lot more things that other students wouldn't get to experience. You get to meet friends faster. You basically have a family on campus with your teammates and it's just a different bonding experience rather than dorm mates or a biology club or something like that. When I look back at my experience here, I think about all the opportunities I was provided, not only through the school, but specifically through the athletics department. Um, it really allowed me to grow into the person who I've become now, um, to understand what it means to be a leader on a team and to take responsibility, not just for yourself, but for who your teammates are. Um, and. I really am truly thankful for all that I was provided as a student athlete because yes, I was here to get an education, but being a part of an athletics team and within the program truly made my experience. On average, the athletics department reaches out each year to nearly 5,000 local, regional, and national high school students to recruit not only athletes, but students who occupy classrooms, live on campus, and buy meal plans. Of those 5,000, some 700 apply to the college. With some 400 student athletes, the athletics department is an economic engine for the institution, generating some $5.2 million annually in revenue through tuition, fees, and room and board. Let's go, baby! Retention, a major component to enrollment and budget growth, is a source of great pride within the athletics department and applauded across campus. In fact, athletics has one of the highest retention ratings of any department on campus. Bottom line, once a student athlete enrolls at Buffalo State, chances are very good that he or she will stay at Buffalo State. And student athletes serve as a retention catalyst for the rest of the student body. It is, after all, entertainment and serves as on-campus programming for other students, both residents and commuters. Much like the performing arts students in music, theater, or dance, student athletes are there to perform. They have a passion to go out and play sports. And when they do, other students, non-athletes, go out and participate by being entertained by that athletic event, and thus retaining, engaging, and bringing them socially into the Buffalo State family. Of course, student athletes perform on the field, or court, or in the pool but they're also committed to performing in the classrooms. 
Over the past five years, Buffalo State student athletes have averaged a 2.8 grade point average, a bit higher than the general student body at Buffalo State. It's not easy, juggling school, work, and of course athletics, but it's all part of being a student athlete. I love being a student athlete here. It's very exciting. Um, a lot of people, I feel like you're a role model to the school because everyone looks up at you. You're an athlete and you're a student at the same time, so I love it. As a student athlete, it's definitely a lot to take in, but it's a once in a lifetime experience. Um, I'm gonna remember these experiences for the rest of my life. Um, what I take the skills from being an athlete relate really into the real world. Well, it pays to be organized and have good time management skills. I've realized that I live by my planner. Um, every day I write what I need to do every single day, what I have to get done so that I never become behind because between the two-a-days, the workouts, the study halls, it's hard to keep everything in order. With being an athlete, you, you might see that as a job, but also being a student's a job too. So you're doing two jobs at once. You have to be able to manage time um, between practice and extra sessions, you know, in the gym, along with your homework and getting to class. Being on a team, you don't necessarily get to pick who your teammates are, um, but you have a job that you need to get done and you have to do it together. You can't do it by yourself. So whether you like that person or not, you're expected to find a way to deal with them in order to make the team better. And being in the workplace, it's kind of the same story. You don't like everybody who you work with, but you're expected to be diplomatic and be respectful. And ultimately, you're there to do a job and to reach goals and you have to do it together. We have uh, some of your uh, student athletes as uh, interns in our program now, and uh, I enjoy working with them. Uh, they bring a unique uh, quality uh, that I find uh, in athletes, uh, that, that quality to, to get things done, to want to get things done, to want to work together. It, it's natural. We don't have to teach that. That's something they do as a, by their nature as an athlete and by their nature as a student. And if that's not enough, academics, work, athletics, our student athletes are campus leaders in the community, generously giving more than 1,000 hours of their time annually to community outreach programs, including the Cancer Society, Special Olympics, Blood Drives, and many, many more. In fact, while the department endorses as many as four outreach programs each year for our teams to actively participate in, many teams take that extra step by adopting their own charity. It's what we mean by the total student athlete experience. There's mainly two things. I think how hard we train. I know personally and a lot of my teammates, it's unbelievable the amount of time that we spend working out and trying to perfect everything that we do. And the other thing is community service. We're very involved in the community and volunteering, kids night out is awesome. Breast cancer walk, anything you can think of. We try our best to get involved in the community and give back. It has definitely been everything that I could imagine and I wouldn't have wanted to experience it any other way. Best experience of my life so far. It's the total student athlete experience, one that carries over from the classroom to the office after graduation. What I hope uh, and this is years down the road when our student athletes are reflecting back on their experience here at Buffalo State, that they have these fond memories. Uh, they lost some, but won most. They think back of the athletic department and their coaches as people who were uh, tough, demanding, yet fair, and people who cared about their growth uh, as young adults. Um, here at Buffalo State.